Game free Wither Ray Switch. So get ready for that. Chosen Deer in the blue here. Playing Dark Elves and going for the Guardian of Noor on the other side. Playing the Orcs. No more trolls. Playing as the Occultist as well. This is Rebel Luke. Embracing the dark side for sure here. Uh, both players should be bullying each other's creeps so that neither of them gets level 2. But for some reason the Wargrider is staying here. Uh, Spectre also has the opportunity to do some nice tilt damage. Just needs to tag the Occultist and keep doing it without dying. Should be great if he can do that. Uh, Hunting Cabin and Triple Woodcutter is the build. Whereas for Rebeluke, we got five lumber mills, a stone cutter, and two hunting cabins. That is too many buildings. He won't be able to upgrade the flag. And he's taking the tilt damage like a champ. Oh god. That Spectre is having fun with this. She's even got a scepter with some candles on it. Incredible. It's broad daylight, lady. Just saying. Oof, that occultist gets slowed a lot. But because the Guardian of Nor was a little bit slow about things, it's actually only evening things out. Because normally the occultist would do things faster. Okay, Spectre keep, needs to keep doing this. She is a lot faster than the occultist. So there is that. Like he's gonna get tagged one more time. Spectre getting a little bit low, however, the Vork has been chasing her for a long time. And she kinda needs to break off. Overall. Nothing has been gained, besides the Occultist hasn't been faster than the Garden of Noor. Finally, this base is upgraded, but two Lumber Mills are being made. That is not a very good build. Um, he's going to be struggling for wood. Revolucan, minus 17 wood right now. Ouch. Jesus, man. Some excellent tilt damage this game, by the way, from the Spectre. This is fantastic. Wow. However, if you look at the map, they're still on the same... <laughs> on the same creeping, so... Like I said, nothing has really been gained besides... Evenness. Dark Ops have to keep doing this. Oh, by the way, we got a debilitating blow picked up. That is great. I love that. I love when Dark Ops players do that. So this is going to give level 3. And I'm curious, will we see Plaguefield? Plaguefield really helps to hold against goblins, because it's a really strong armor reduction. A uh, total of 33% each. So combining that with debilitating blow and soul explosion, and maybe a few uh, fire orbs, just make sure that you can keep killing units and gaining value over time. Also, it might allow the Guardian of Nord to... Over a long period of time, threatened uh, the occultist a little bit. Only four bases for Revoluke. This is not good. He's been making both of the buildings for these bases, and that's too expensive. He's trying to go tall, but yeah. He could have had a much smoother build if he only makes one building at a time, each base, uh, leaves him on one worker. Gets like these four going, and then he upgrades to frontier posts with second buildings on them. That would have been better. The 
and each would have three buildings and be done in like one minute from now. Just like this, it will take a really long time. He hasn't even started this one yet. That's how bad this is. You know, the Dark Elves will have had their third base already. Yep. And soon we'll have the money to start the fourth one. Actually, Chosen Deer is floating. He had the money to start the fourth one. Um, I'm going for a very fast tier too. I'm curious if that's going to be for Beetles. We shall see. We shall see indeed. Where are spiders going to the main? Yeah, yeah. An interesting little fact. You can't actually attack a building through the fog of war you have to actually look at it when your units reveal the building so um, you, you can't just click a lumber mill that you know about you have to actually see it otherwise the unit only goes to the location oh the bear got pissed off okay smacking this dark instant No tier 2 for Rebel Luke yet. Uh, no significant goblin count either. 8 goblins. He's upgrading a bunch of bases. Still not this one. This is so nice. It has iron here. This is obviously one of the most important bases on the map. Yeah, we can't see it, but it's got 750 uh, iron, I think. Yeah. It's got the bo bottom one, so that's good. Any lumber mills for now. I assume he will get rid of those eventually. Uh, okay, we do have the Plague Field. We have the Soul Transformation as well, so that uh, Guardian of Nor can get around a bit faster. The Spider Harass has been on for a while. He's also getting the Fire Orbs, and probably the Shield would be a decent idea, but he doesn't quite have the money for it. Oh well, too bad. Could have gone away, gotten away with four Fire Orbs and the Shield, however. That would have been nice as he gets the healing uh, from the blocking momentum every time. He blocks an attack, and the shield does double the block chance, so I think that would be nice. Have we got any upgraded scouting posts? Not yet. No frontier posts. What is he doing exactly with tier 2? A dark temple in the main base. Whoa. Whoa. What did those two workers get used on earlier? Uh, potentially some stone? No. Nothing. He never did use them. But where's the iron gonna come from? Like, he's gonna need some iron. Oh, okay. I figure this might also be a build that goes straight to tier 3. Which would be interesting with the striders and stuff. But I guess it's gonna be a beetle build. Uh, can't afford the beetles right now. And there's not a lot of spiders either. Yeah, that's the only building he's got. Spiders being made, that's it. Rebel Luke is taking the bear. He's got another one that he can just godstone down to. Should be right here. That That is enough for orc level 5. Is he teleporting down? What? Why here? Because he knows about this. He wants that bear. There's nothing really to stop him, so I can respect that. Good idea. The other one will wait for him anyway. Then <laughs> he goes straight level 6, lol. Not quite, but close. Especially if he can take some Vyverns out as well. Uh, Ice Vyvern probably one of the harder ones. I'd rather go for the Storm or the Fire one. We just get slowed down so much by the freezing. There's gonna be some fighting here. Bear uses the attack he's got, the skill he's got. Oh, there is a harvester now. Fire orbs going down in the middle of the weakened goblins. They have minus 25 magic. Wait, these are just enfeebled now. Uh, shouldn't have used that second fireball. But here is a beetle, and nothing can shoot up except the base. 
Of course, the base has been upgraded, and probably most of the experience will go to the to the cultists here. Yeah, Red Luke's gonna be happy with this. He's gonna be level five now. Nice little stun on the bear. Yeah, there is level 5. We shall see Sanguine Burst and Blood Light Tartan, no doubt. Hey, not a single Death Resilience has been picked up. What is this? Okay. How much iron do we have? We got two iron mines up here. Down, down here. Where is the iron? There's like no iron anywhere. <laughs> There's gonna be one here. Okay, um, is the war pit upgrading hunters? Yes. He's not gonna have a whole lot. Uh, Rev Luke. He's making two more. Okay, you know what? This isn't bad. Especially once he gets this done. Uh, a lot of negative stone, but. He's not spending it on anything else, so it should be fine. How many bugs do we have? Chosen Deer has four beetles right now, not the best. But should be able to contest the early hunter numbers. Yeah, the beetles are pretty good at taking it out. Still no level 5 though. That is unfortunate. I wonder whether these guys will try to go down to the Vyvern or something. Are they actually gonna go to try and kill the Tempest Golem? That would be crazy. Got the bear kill for Rebeluke. He's almost level 6. Oh, the beetles are going up. Let's see what they're gonna find. There's a hunter there. Would be a great pickoff if they can catch it. They are a lot faster, as you can see. More iron mines being put down. So many gobbles there. Ooh. Is that bounce? I think it, I think we have bouncy bouncies. Beetles have been upgraded. That's great. Completely stopping iron mines from working, by the way, so that's sick. They can take that one hunter. Easy. And damaging the building in the process is nice too. Even killing some workers. More beetles being made by Chosen Deer. This is looking pretty good. How many total? Nine. Harvester is working. He doesn't have a lot of food, but the forge is already up already. Uh, anyway, so that's good. Finds a stone cutter. Probably not the most important of things, but it's nice to find it. Ooh, the hunters are a little scary here. Probably doesn't want to stay around and needs to get out of here. Meanwhile, he's dealing with a Scorching Vibern. That'll put him on level 6 straight away. Hmm. 
Where are those workers going? Oh, they're... They're picking up some resources. Ah, oh, iron mine. Okay. There we go. Beetle's trying to harass a bit. Got level 6 for a chosen deer now. Uh, 4 ability points to spend. Would like to see soul shield. Would like to see maybe the stronger plague field, which would put these resistances to an even greater value, right? No, actually, it's just... What is the difference? A longer duration. It doubles the duration, basically. We don't even have Soul Transformation level 2, which gives a silence, by the way. Um, oh, he didn't pick up two more points, still. Oh, the beetles get silenced. Too bad they don't have spells. Rip Ivern, level 7. Well, one more beetle died, but they probably did some damage. At least, definitely slowed down uh, what was going on here. Look at all those dead workers. Holy shit. Rebel Luke has got to be mad, but he's got enough resources to keep pumping the hunters, so... You know, at some point, he's got to not worry about this anymore. Uh, Chosen Deer now with 13 beetles. He can't fight the hunters, that's for sure. Oh, what? Rebel Luke has taken the golem? And I missed it. I'm sorry. Well, he's got a focus ring. That's garbage. Going after the remaining Vyvern now. Oh, there's still one up top. Oof. Nice lightning. Ah, uh, focus ring. <laughs> so unlucky. <laughs> okay, the frontier post is likely gonna go down. As a watchtower, you're helping out. Uh, also does pierce damage, interestingly enough, whereas the base does magic damage, so... Not as... Incredible as you might think, but... Anyway, the beetles don't care. They have no resistances, so it doesn't affect them. Uh, these guys need to spread out if they want to take on the Ice Fiber, and otherwise they'll get frozen and stuck here for like 20 seconds. Oh god. Better kill that thing fast. Have a notifier ready or something. Oh, he only targets the gobbles. It's not the end of the world. How about we go for the bug's eye view? Not that bug. Keeps bumping into others. Love do, doing these air unit shots. Anyway, uh, Frontier Post is getting absolutely wrecked. Holy shit. <laughs> I never had a chance. Uh, yeah, it really sucks to lose that base. By the way, the Occultus is on level 9. Oh my god. It's a lot of beetles, but nowhere near enough to take on the hunters, to be honest. Uh, would need a lot of meat shields and maybe some knockdown effects or weakening or something it's just too many the beetles are gonna get absolutely demolished if they fight this straight up uh gets even worse because brutes are getting added in oh my god they just keep going poof can't fight directly without a meat shield even just a ton of spiders would help This frontier post doesn't have a chance either. What's going on with the uh, production? He's got two dark temples now, only making beetles. He's gonna get out hunted. They're just so much cheaper. Look at Rebel Luke's resources, he's almost maxed out. He can just hold down the A button at this point. Uh, you have to tap it actually, but. 
you get what I mean. It's a lot of souls. Could we see maybe a bunch of Scions and their upgrade, then they'll get at least knocked down. Uh, the Hunters, I mean, and you can keep chaining that. That might help, I don't know. Something, something. It's difficult. Need a front line. Um, ideally, sleepers or something would make a great front line. Because they'll also hit multiple units uh, once upgraded, at least. But it's all very expensive to get that. Dude, if these bugs were all still alive, and we had a few sleepers in the front, and a few scions, then we'd be talking, but this is rough. It's actually a miracle that Chosen Deer was allowed to have this base. I don't know where Rebeluk is. Uh, it's gone back to the center. I don't know why this base matters, to be honest. Is he tier 3? Is he tier 3? It's making war trolls now. And Black Ash is being collected, but looks like the beetles will wreck that. They only have 12,000 hit points on the Black Ash collector, so that's unfortunate. They're pretty expensive too, for an orc building that is. Those could probably be healed out some health. <laughs> I mean, they cost the same as a lumber mill. I mean, no, they are the same as a lumber mill, but they're like twice as expensive. All the beetles just explode. And Chosen Deer has pretty much nothing left, so... This is the point where you just go to the main base with the orcs. It's already maxed out. Pastors are being made. I'm not doubting that shamans are coming out soon. Tribe totems. <laughs> now he's just showing off. Beatles and oh, it's gonna do it. There's some spiders now, but it's still only 85 population of Dark Elves. And it's still only Dark Temples. Tier 3 is being researched, but there's no, like, Horse of Pain. I'm really worried for Chosen Deer here. Might have to go for the Loser's Round. I don't know why they're not fighting. Uh, Rebeluke has everything he could possibly want. <laughs> What's happening? He's upgrading every single base. Oh, there they are. 17 beetles. Yeah, hunters just make him pop. Is there still no other pl plan for Chosen Deer? First Hall of Pain is coming up, so... Hopefully we'll see some striders or something. 19 beetles. It's just beetle town. So the beetles are good, but not for this reason. Uh, scouting post is probably gonna get taken out by them. Oh god, oh god. Here are the hunters. Better just leave, yeah. Once the Dark Elves are at full pop, this is a very different situation, though. I 
<laughs> Except these mutas just go poof. I don't know why he's so scared of them. They got the crap nerfed out of them. So... Taking them on would be just fine. Luke keeps sitting over here for some reason. Guess that's the world we live in now. Uh, 200 iron in the bank. Dark Ops are only gonna get stronger, so he's kind of throwing his lead. Yeah, 148 pop for Dark Ops now. With 24 beetles. Uh, only lost one beetle here. That's some pretty good health damage though. And as long as Revoluk doesn't shoot back, the beetles are having a pretty good time. Ah, three beetles just go poof. And not a single orc unit has died. Seriously, not much is being made. Sleepers now. A little bit late for that. This is almost pure hunter. They got oiled up. Here comes the war troll. I don't see any shamans, but I do see a drummer over there. Uh, this is actually a group to pick off. Oh god, the beetles are flying through it. And the hunters are doing massive damage, killing three of them. Okay, this is laggy. We, we gotta... We gotta pause this. Guardian Lord jumps in and Vitti and Feeble reduces their DP uh, damage per shot to 113. That uh, is much lower, but Guardian Lord does get knocked down. Oh my god, the hunters just deleted him. Is this gonna be enough beetles? Probably not. Certainly not enough to deal with the Remax. We also have emissaries. Probably the worst units you could possibly make. As uh, they have negative pierce resist. Sleeper was a good idea. They have positive pierce resist. Compared to that. Um, would be even better to see a bunch of striders, but I don't think it will happen. How much does Rebel Luke has pop have population wise? Uh, four war trolls, 20 hunters. This is good enough to go to the main with. And he is. Doesn't have any food for whatever reason. There's a bunch of idols. I guess the food is just running out on the map. Nah, he's got a lot still. She needs to make farms. Lots of fortified apples, so not even border fortresses. He's got tribe totems. Should be more than safe. Oh, right clicking that base. Even the hunters are not all attacking the base. They're... Half of them are going after the beetles. Wait, are they just attacking the base? Dude, they're right clicking this thing. Oh my god! Uh, half the beetles just get deleted by the tribe totem and it looks like the main base will blow up. As the war trolls just deliver the last few hits. Chosen Deer says GG. Before his base goes boom. 
He has to go through the loser's bracket now. Well, guys, five hunters will one shot the Beatles. So, yeah. Don't make too many. 